I started writing songs about two years ago. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and it started out of nothing. I found an old guitar, yeah. uh, which belonged to me. I think I bought that guitar about 45 years before. Yeah. And I found it in my mother's wardrobe. And I never knew it was there. She had kept it. It was like as if she kept it for me. She so passed away in 1998. Yeah. And uh, it was only two years ago I found this thing. And I put new strings on it and started cranking out a few little tunes and yeah. discovered I had a bit of a talent for writing songs and particularly for crafting lyrics. Yeah. Well, to be very honest with you, I started writing these songs because I found myself at a crossroads in life. Yeah. Uh, two years ago, I was, I was I dealt a blow in terms of my health. Okay. So it was a serious situation and I didn't know did I have a, a function as far as a priest, priest function was concerned? I wasn't getting a job anymore in that sense. Nobody could uh, feel they could give me a job as a parish priest or something like that because of the health situation. Yeah. So I felt I was at a loose end and I also was a bit uh, troubled by the fact that I was no longer uh, the professional man I always felt I was. Yeah. So this music came in at the right time. I, I, I prayed a lot that time and I think I got my miracle and my miracle was the songs. Great musicians like the Beatles and that, they, they found early their great talent. Um, some people would find it very late probably. Yeah. And uh, I just got a, uh, a bit of inspiration very late in life, so yeah. very happy for that. But I have to say my experience was, uh, it was like falling into cotton wool. Um, I really felt comfortable from day one uh, in Studio Hub. And uh, the, the atmosphere was uh, friendly. It was uh, close. I was made to feel as if I was welcome and I was worth it. Yeah. And that's very, very, very important, I think, for somebody like myself starting. The highlight for me of the last year was only two days. I've only had gone on for two weeks, uh, working, <laughs> working, working with absolutely tremendous musicians yeah. uh, who were able to take 10 songs that they had barely heard before and all they were getting was the vocal and acoustic backing. And they were able to take that, each song, and craft something really, really marvellous and musically from it. Um, my sister, Carol, was with me. She accompanied me down to uh, Clara in County Offaly. And uh, her, the, asking her, the experience was just wonderful for her. She just sat back and soaked it in. And I got a great uh, chance to work and, and contribute, really. To, to the making of the album and the production and sense of, I was able to now and then, believe it or not, give hints to the musicians as to what, which way I wanted this played. After all, I'd written the song, so I knew, I had a sense already of how I wanted them produced and how I wanted them to sound. But these musicians were so good that they were able to take things I would suggest. I'll give you an example. One of the examples was um, on one of the songs called Be Brave. And it was an introduction, it was a piano introduction. And I asked uh, the pianist, John, I said, did you ever see the film On Golden Pond? And he had. And I said, there's a little tinkle of the piano right at the end of a line. Can you do that? And we, the, the sound that you'll hear on the album just worked out perfectly. 